ஒன்னர் So all these videos I have already uploaded. So if you want, you go to the playlist of my channel, select the subject Advanced Accounting New, select the videos of Partnership Accounts, be perfect about the adjustment provisions regarding Partnership Accounts and then you can understand the problems. Now uh, before starting the 20th problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which are given in the link under my description. Always keep it ready. Take the screenshot of the points of 20th problem, then I'll explain. Now, see the 20th problem. Basu and Das are partners sharing profits and losses equally. So only two partners are there Basu and Das and the profit sharing ratio is 1 is to 1 equally 50% to Basu 50% to Das. On 30th June 2005 the balance sheet was as under sundry creditors liability. Capitals are given Basu and Das. Freehold premises, machinery, stock, debtors, bank balance. It is agreed that Basu will retire as from 30th June 2005 and that Das will take over the business on the following terms. Only two partners are there. One partner Basu is retiring. So only one person will be left that is Das. That means the partnership is being converted into sole trader because partnership requires at least two persons. If one person leaves then only one person will be left. So it cannot be a partnership, it will become a sole trader. So simple words, earlier it was a partnership, in future it is going to become a sole trader. So Basu is going to retire and Dasu will continue the business. Goodwill of the firm to be valued 11,000. The firm goodwill is 11,000, but we want the share of goodwill of the retiring partner. So how to find out share? What is the profit sharing ratio? 50-50, half-half. So 11,000 is the goodwill of the firm. Out of 11,000, 50% is of Basu, 50% is of Das. So 11,000 into 1 by 2, 5,500. So goodwill payable to Basu is 5,500. Stock to be agreed a worth rupees 10,000. What is the balance sheet value of stock? 12,000. That means we have to reduce the value of stock by 2,000. The entry will be revaluation account debit stock account credit by 2000. Then a reserve for doubtful debts to be created at 2%. Already in every problem we have seen this one. The entry for provision for doubtful debts revaluation account debit provision for doubtful debts credit. Basu to be paid as to 20,000 of the amount found, due, found to be due to him by a loan taken at 9%. And to the balance by bill of exchange payable after two months. So we have to find out how much is the amount due to the retiring partner Basu. For that amount, 20,000 rupees Das is taking a loan. Why Das is taking a loan? To pay 20,000 rupees to Basu. And the remaining balance will be a bill will be accepted. That means Basu will draw a bill of exchange. Bill of exchange on Das. Das will accept it. So whatever balance is there, bills payable for Das. Now, show general entries to record the above transaction and also the balance sheet of Das after the adjustments have been made. It's very simple problem. Only general entries and then uh, we prepare uh, the account of partners, partners capital account and then balance sheet of Das. That's it. So first of all, general entries. See, two assets have to be reduced. Stock has to be reduced by 2000 and reserve for doubtful debts 2% on debtors. Debtors are 38,000. 
2 परसेंट ऑफ थर्टी एट थाउजेंड कम्स टू सेवन सिक्सटी तो टू थाउजेंड एंड सेवन सिक्सटी तो एंट्री विल बी रिवैल्यूएशन अकाउंट डेबिट टू स्टॉक टू रिजर्व फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स राइट बींग द स्टॉक वैल्यू रेड्यूस्ड एंड प्रोविजन फॉर डाउटफुल डेट्स क्रिएटेड दैट इज द नरेशन द सेकेंड एंट्री विल बी द प्रॉफिट बिकॉज ओनली टू आइटम्स आर टू बी रिवैल्यूड only two items have to be revalued no other item is there now we post this entry into the revaluation account so revaluation account only one item is there so only revaluation account is debited 2760 there are no credits on revaluation that means there is a loss on revaluation of 2760 and this loss will be shared by the partners in the profit sharing ratio That is equally half of. So two thousand seven sixty into half one thousand three eighty. So the entry for loss on revaluation is all partners capital account debit revaluation account credit. And a basus capital account debit das capital account debit to revaluation. Two thousand being the loss on revaluation shared by the partners equally. That's it. So revaluation account closed. Now Das Capital to Basus Capital. This is the entry for goodwill. The goodwill of the firm is eleven thousand. But the firm goodwill. We want the goodwill of the retiring partner. Retiring partner is Basus. Fifty fifty. Eleven thousand. Half of eleven thousand. Five thousand five hundred. So five thousand five hundred goodwill should be given to retiring partner Basus. Now remember, we should not raise the goodwill. we should not write the term goodwill according to the new provisions the goodwill should be adjusted in the capital accounts for example in our case basu is the retiring partner basu's capital should be credited and the continuing partner should be debited note down this point whenever i explain some important points always keep a notebook ready jot it down then only you can be able to remember otherwise you will forget it so entry will be continuing partner capital account debit to retiring partner here in our problem continuing person is das to so das capital debit basus capital credit 5500 being the goodwill adjusted in the capital accounts next one is loan taken Twenty thousand loan has been taken by Das, so that this amount can be paid to the retiring partner Basu. Basu. So bank account debit twenty thousand to loan account twenty thousand, being the loan taken in order to pay to the retiring partner. Now finally, Basu's capital account should be closed. Whatever is the amount due to him. The entry will be Basu's capital forty nine one twenty. How do we get this forty nine one twenty by preparing this capital account? By preparing the capital account, we come to know how much is the amount due to the retiring partner Basu. So forty nine one twenty is the amount due. To from this twenty thousand rupees will be paid immediately by taking a loan. Already loan is taken. Bank account debit to loan account we have passed. this loan is specifically taken to pay to the retiring partner so to bank account 20000 right to bills payable remaining balance for that a bill is accepted by das for two months so how much 49120 minus 20000 29120 is the balance amount due the bills paid being the account of retiring partner basu settled that's all. these are the entries now we prepare the capital accounts capital accounts before retirement how much is the capital of basu and das 45000 36000 so by balance brought down 45000 36000 we have taken now goodwill goodwill should be given to retiring partner basu so basu's account should be credited so basu account credited 5000 Whose account should be debited? Das capital account should be debited. So debit side, Basu's capital five thousand five hundred. Right? Revaluation loss. 
in the earlier problems we were having revaluation profit that revaluation profit we have taken on the credit side in every problem in the past every problem but here first time we are having a revaluation loss the entry will be partners capital account debit to revaluation account so revaluation account was credited partners capital account should be debited so here revaluation loss 1380 1380 right now how much amount is paid to the retiring partner basu 20000 rupees immediately paid so entry will be basu's capital account debit to bank so basu's capital debit side to bank right over now we have to settle the account of basu we have to find out how much is the amount still due to basu now 45 plus 5000 50500 is the total from 50500 1380 minus the total amount due will be 49120 out of 49,120, 20,000 rupees immediately paid. The remaining 20, 29,120 bills paid. That's all. The account of Basu closed. Now, how much is the amount remaining in Das Capital? Credit side 36,000. 36 minus 1380 minus 5,500, 29,120 is the remaining balance in the account of Das. So thus capital 29,120. That's all. Capital account completed. Now finally we are required to make the balance sheet of thus. So here by seeing the old balance sheet we can complete the new one. So Basu's capital uh, for example sundry credits 39,800. There is no change in sundry credits. We have not made any change in sundry credits. So same 39,800. And now after that, capitals are there, but one new point is there. Das has taken a loan of 20,000 here. Bank account debit to loan account. Loan is a liability. So 20,000 loan is there. That loan should be taken on the liability side. Loan 20,000. And one more liability is bill accepted. Basu has drawn a bill of exchange on Das. And Das has accepted the bill for the remaining amount. How much is the remaining amount? 29,120. The so bills payable is a liability. 29,120. And thus capital after making all adjustments. 29,120. That's all. Liability is completed. Now come to asset side. Freehold premises. Freehold premises 26,000. But there is no change. No change in freehold premises. Same 29,000, 26,000 we have taken. In the balance sheet is given 26,000, here also 26,000. Machinery, 42,000. There is no change, no adjustment is made for machinery. Same 42,000. Stock, stock book value was 12,000, but agreed worth 10,000. So 2,000 stock has been reduced. So 12,000 minus 2,000, 10,000. Sundry debtors are 38,000. And we have made a provision for doubtful debts. How much? 760. So from sundry debtors, deduct 760 provision for doubtful debts. 38,000 minus 760, 37,240. Lastly, bank balance 2,800. There is no change. Huh, bank, in the bank account, we have received 20,000, but at the same time, we have paid 20,000. That means there is no change in the bank balance 2,800. 2,800. That's all. So all the items we have considered. So now the total on the liability side 1,18,040 on the asset side 1,18,040 balance sheet tallied. This is the end of the problem. So very simple problem. Only general entries we have prepared. We have prepared the capital accounts and finally we have prepared the balance sheet of DAS. That's it. So inshallah we will continue the next problem in the next video.